Ha! Ah, feels good to be back here. How are you all doing? Tell me where you are, where you're watching me from. It's a brand new day, a brand new evening, and a brand new live stream from your brand new boy, Mr. Gotta Baby. <laughs> Oh my god. Hi Collins, thanks for being the first person. Nakade, thanks for Gloria brought out the TV. Um thank you so much for being here. Hi, hello, how are you all doing? Thank you so much. If you just joined, make sure you like the stream. We're gonna have a good time here today because I, I feel like I have energy, you know, that energy to say welcome back to the youtube channel it's your favorite village boy mr ghana baby ali has what a maya what a maya <laughs> what a maya <laughs> i miss i miss that energy in my videos man because i've missed you all thank you so much for tuning in hit the like button thank you so much for being here you know that i love you all you, you know it yeah i don't take your love for granted man like Yo, I mean, I was away for a short time and people were sending me messages that, what am I, what happened to you? Where have you been? Oh my God. Wow. I've not been anywhere, man. I'm around just creating every single day for you all. I've seen 341 people. I need to get almost 300 likes. I really want to know if you really care about me, yeah? Like the stream, yeah? Thank you so much. Tell me where you're watching me from, you know? You guys have no idea how much I love you guys, man. I took a short break, but I'm back again. And don't worry, eh? I'm back, and I'm not. I'm not even gonna go back again till we hit that million mark. I, I just, I was just tired, and I decided to take a quick break. Thank you so much for um, everything. Let me know where you're watching me from. I'm gonna try and mention each and everyone's name in here. Collins watching from Qatar, ZZ watching from Ni Nigeria, watching from Germany. Um, he said watching from Finland, watching from Jamaica, what go on, what they go on. Dorcas, um, Botswana, oh my God, I can't wait to go to Botswana. Vivian, Vivian watching from Nairobi, Kenya. Um, oh my God, watching from Uganda, USA, LA, Brooklyn, from Ghana. Oh my goodness, yo, Cyprus, Jordan from Namibia, watching from the UK, Gambia, Uganda, Nairobi, Cameroon, Libya, UK, South Africa, Kigali, Ghana, Djibouti, wow, oh my goodness, I got a lot from every country in this world, man, thank you so much, Namibia in the building, Eritrea from Ethiopia, oh my god, I don't know, jeez, from south sudan thank you so much for tuning in thank you so much for being here thank you so much for the love and support i just came here to tell you guys that i'm around yeah i didn't go anywhere i didn't go anywhere i'm around and i'm good i'm back for good um we'll be giving you back to back so we hit a million road to a million we're not gonna stop um I just had to just take a short break and work on some few stuff. I know so many of you have so many questions to ask. Feel free and ask those questions because I'm here today and I'm here to answer every single question, something that you want to know. If something is bothering you that you really want to ask me, feel free and ask me. Um, <laughs> someone is saying, you've come a long way from grocery store of China picking up girls, yeah? okay i see you i see you bro i see you. how was congo i'm not down with congo i'm actually going back to congo congo was um a bit rough but um yeah we definitely gonna go back again so yeah first of all i want to update you guys that there was a lot going on you know i was in congo for 21 days i think was it 21 days probably yeah two to three weeks, I was in Congo. My first week in Congo was wasted because I, we had a lot of struggles in Congo from the very first beginning. And um, yeah, um, second time, the second week, 
we started filming and I think we have over 20 episodes already from Congo, but we are not done because like I said, Africa to the world, we are trying to give you quality instead of quantity. So we have to go back to Congo. We cannot just do a capital city and expect that a capital city represent the entire country. So we're going to Goma, we've been in Lumumbashi uh, and then Kinshasa. Currently, I'm in Nairobi. Um, yeah, I got um, um, I got a, a quick problem, so I had to fly to Nairobi and then make sure that everything is okay. So I'm in Nairobi right now, but I'm not here to create. I'm here to, I mean, I mean, take care of Trudy. So I'll be here for a while, but not not for long. Um, I think by next week, I'll be back again in Congo. Um, so if you are in Goma, uh, probably next week will be in Goma. So wherever you are in Goma, if you really want to link up, do so and link up. I was in Ethiopia uh, for seven days and all the seven days in Ethiopia, it was just creating, creating, creating. I think uh, we managed to create almost six, seven, eight uh, episodes from Ethiopia. So I know you guys are enjoying the Ethiopian episodes, more coming. I think I have four or five videos to go from Ethiopia and we will start our Congo episode. So I know so many of you are asking me what happened to the Congo videos. Wait for it. Uh, I'll be uploading Congo videos very soon. Um, I, it, it's just a matter of time, yeah. Please um, bear with me. Um, it's not easy. I think I've been through a tough time recently for my trip to Congo and all of that. It's been really tough. But like I said, I've got my mind made up and I won't turn back because I've decided to promote Africa. I've got my mind made up and I won't turn back. Yeah. So, I mean, sometimes I wish some, we can do behind the scenes so that so many of you will know um, the kind of challenges that we go through in terms of bringing you um, videos from um, um, these countries. But I know you won't understand, but like I said, I've got a mind made up and uh, I'm not going to turn back because I've already decided to, I mean, put Africa on the map. It's not easy, but we'll keep moving. Nothing good comes easy. That's what uh, people need to understand. And we, we, we're doing it. You know, it's just a matter of time. Thank you. I would have 1 million. I'm not in a hurry. I know that as soon as we start dropping videos, the 1 million itself was going to show his face. So, yeah. Um, should we expect a 1 million um, subscriber party? Yes, I would love to invite each and every one of you to the 1 million party. Uh, wait for it, yeah, wait for it. Okay, so, so far you've done your best and uh, we're still doing our best. How's Trudy doing? She's really fine. So feel free, I'm here, I'll be here for an hour. Feel free to like the stream if you haven't. Feel free to like the stream if you haven't. Feel free to like the stream if you haven't. I'll be here for one hour. Like I said, I've missed you all. And I just want to come in here and speak to you guys because a lot of people thought that something is wrong with me. Nothing is what's wrong with me. I just felt like there was a lot going on and we had to take a short break and um, come back again. I think uh, we've been able to um, create some few content from Ethiopia. And I know I, I've been reading the comments and I know and believe that you all are enjoying it. Um, thank you so much for watching the videos. Please, if you haven't watched those videos, go back and watch those videos. Make sure you share uh, those videos. Make sure you like the videos. I really appreciate it. Yeah, so I'll be here for a while. Feel free, ask me whatever question that you want to ask, and um, I'll be here to answer everything. Yeah. For now, I think um, point of... You're, you're really touring, yeah. I was in Ethiopia, now I think I'm in um, Kenya. Yeah, I'm in Kenya right now. Yeah, congratulations, what am I for 1 million subscribers in advance? I did a campaign video for you on my channel. I'll definitely check it out. Good to meet you here, what am I? It's good to meet you too, brother. I just thought about you putting a ring on our wife. Don't worry, we are not in a hurry. Um, yeah, he's saying that 
Maya, these videos are amazing. Doreen, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, when are you coming to Botswana? Very soon. Very, very soon. Like, like I said, very soon. Yeah. Um, Botswana, I'll be there very soon. I wanna, I, re I really don't know if I have to address this today, but I think I'll find another time and address it. I'm in Ghana and I want to know how to meet you one on one, please. I'm not in Ghana at this very moment. So maybe when I get to Ghana someday, I would definitely link up. Um, what are you saying? Um, greetings from South Africa. We appreciate your work, Maya. Thank you so much. South Africa watching, bro. Thank you so much, South Africa. I can't wait to visit South Africa someday, man. Really can't wait. When are you coming to Ivory Coast? Very soon. You see, I want to tell you guys something. Yeah, this Francophone countries, it's not easy, man. Like, I, I, I really wanted to learn French, but I think I lost my grandma, which changed every plan in Ghana. And um, we'll be able to... Um, I hope someday I'll be able to speak French so that I'll be able to do what I have to do because going to a country like Congo, we had to do the videos in French. You, you can't wait to see the Congo videos. I'm actually excited myself to release the Congo videos. So yeah, you all should wait for it, man. I miss you, bro. John Forson, thank you so much. I miss you too. Have a nice lunch. Hey, somebody say I should have lunch with $20. You know, in Africa, we have lunch with $5. So which means I have four days lunch for this, man. Thank you so much for um, this super chat. I really appreciate it. It seems I forgot that we even have super chat because anytime I come here, people give me super chat like crazy that I was so scared of coming live, man, because some people just stay here just to count how much money that I receive on YouTube, man. But anyway, if you are here and you feel like giving me super chat, feel free. It's... It, it's free to give a super chat. Thank you so much. Um, merci beaucoup. Uh, merci beaucoup. Yeah, merci beaucoup. How beautiful is Congo? Congo, uh, listen, I want to, I have to be honest here. Yeah, yeah, I have to be honest. Um, I love African countries, but I was really not impressed with Congo. I was really not impressed with Congo. Um, I don't know, maybe I was just in Kinshasa. But um, I was really not impressed in terms of uh, because I, I feel like Africans need to take control of their own narrative in terms of um, being able to invest in their own countries. I want to tell you guys, yeah, um, if you have the opportunity to you have the money, please go and invest in Congo. I believe that Congo needs each and every one of you um, because when I went to Congo, I realized that Congolese are not investing in Congo. Most of the things that I saw in Congo are not owned by Congolese, and which I think it was it was really, really sad to see that Congolese are not investing in their own country. But the videos that I'm going to do, I did from Congo, I believe that it's going to inspire so many people to go and invest in Congo. They said Congo is the heart of Africa, and Africa is the heart of the world. So, yeah. Please, let's all try our possible best to invest in another African country. When are you coming back to Namibia? I think I'll be in Namibia in November. So um, I don't know if I have to say this, but I think I'll be back in Namibia in November. There's so much going on, and um, I want to pick up one day and then update each and every one of you because I was supposed to be in the Caribbean uh, very soon. But there's so much going on, and um, the Caribbean, the countries that we're having, we're having so many countries that I don't think I'll be able to do that in the short period of time. So the good news is that um, from January onwards, from January onwards, we'll be doing videos from the diaspora. Yeah, we'll be doing videos from the diaspora from January onwards. So wherever country that you are um, in the diaspora, this January, what am I is coming to you from, I think we'll be in the diaspora for six months because I was supposed to go to the Caribbean in October, November, but there's a lot going on that I don't think I can even be able to explain to you all myself, but pray for me. I, I always say like, pray for me, you know, this is more like a calling, you know, and it's so hard. I don't know how to explain to you guys, man. It's so hard. It's so hard, but, um, with time, 
with time, I know that we'll get there. Say one word in Ethiopia. In Detna or in Detna or in Detna Chu, um, then I name I'm a Saganalo. I, I hope that was not a word, but so many, so many words. Yeah. You're saying, um, do I have I have more questions there? What a, we love you. You're a true African. Thank you so much. Hmm. So when people say you are the true African, I don't know what that means. Maya, uh, uh, make sure you're taking time to rest. Your health and well-being is very important. And that is why I'm in Nairobi, because I've been sleeping a lot since I came to Nairobi, um, taking care of myself. Um, that's why I took a short break, just to take care of myself. And uh, we're going to continue the journey back again in a week time. Because people don't understand that a lot goes into um this kind of work that we do a lot goes into it i remember somebody sent me an email maya you have two editors there's no reason that you don't have to upload video every single day but they forget that with these two editors you travel with them we go out together we come back home together we are all tired at the same time so it's it's a matter of time we, we're trying our best and i believe that with time most of you will understand the nature of our work and um, how I have dedicated my life to make sure that Africa is seen in a positive light. Yeah. I love you wearing Ethiopian airline chat. It's a big market in all Africa and it's amazing, brother. Um, thank you so much. She's saying, um, I'm a baby YouTuber from Uganda. I'm inspired by what Maya. Keep doing you. I've seen 700 people watching me right now. That's amazing. Yo. 700 people, where, where are you watching me from, man? You are you are in Krumah's son. Hey, <laughs> come in Krumah's son, yeah? Okay. Um, I am Maya. I saw you in a business class on Ethiopian Airlines. That was awesome. I could see the excitement in your eyes. You need to visit Zimbabwe. Trust me, you have a blast. I can't wait to visit Zimbabwe. I can't wait. You see, like, Zimbabwe has been one of the countries on my top list. But anytime I try to visit Zimbabwe, I fail anytime i think it's been three consecutive time trying to visit zimbabwe that i failed i think the first time that i wanted to visit zimbabwe i got deported from zambia the second time i wanted to visit zimbabwe that was from mozambique COVID hit the third time that i wanted to visit zimbabwe that was when i went to um which country is that uh, when i was in namibia from namibia my ticket was to go to uh, zimbabwe and I really got exhausted from traveling within Namibia. So it's um, three consecutive times that I failed from going to Zimbabwe, but I know that the right time will come. I mean, Zimbabwe is close to my heart because the um, the guy that I started my YouTube channel with is from Zimbabwe. So if I'm even coming to Zimbabwe, I'm creating content with him as soon as I get to Zimbabwe. Yeah, so God time is perfect. What am I uh, watching from Saudi Arabia, Finland, watching from Ghana? Uh, you have never visited Cameroon. I'm definitely coming soon. I think Trudy was in Cameroon recently. So wait for it. Yeah, I'm visiting every country in Africa. Uh, like I said, it's so expensive to travel within Africa. Uh, so sometimes you have to have patience with me. Yeah, I mean, I would do a video on the most expensive countries that I've ever been, the most expensive country that I've ever visited is Congo. Congo, I mean, they said Congo is the richest country in Africa, but Congo is the country that I think I spent close to, should I say close to $10,000, man, just for going to Congo with my entire crew, like $10,000. And I don't even know if you believe that. I Can we... Can we can we do the maths if people will believe that I spent ten thousand dollars just going to Congo? It's something that you won't believe it, but it's the reality, you know. So I just want you guys to understand that it's not that I don't want to visit any country for now, but it's just so expensive to travel within Africa, and um, we don't have sponsors, we don't have. Um, anyone who is saying that, oh, we're taking care of everything and all of that, we're just doing everything by ourselves. So you just have patience, yeah? We we're definitely going to be in every country. I don't want to sound like um, I've been forced to do this. This is something that I have decided, and I'm not turning back, yeah? So don't worry. Whatever country you're from, I know you watch my videos. I don't take any country for granted. I'm visiting every country 
before I mean before I say I'm done with YouTube, I need to make sure that I've visited every country. I think even countries that we've we've been visiting lately are really enjoying, I mean, a, an in-depth content than the countries that I visited earlier. You don't think so? Let me know what you think, man. I, I, I personally think the countries that we are visiting recently are really enjoying in-depth content more than the countries we visited earlier. Because those days when I started traveling, I didn't have confidence. I, I No, not confidence. I had a confidence, but I didn't have the experience, yeah, in terms of traveling and creating good content at the same time. Those days, it was more of quantity because, yo, I was spending a lot of money. So those days, even if I see an ant passing by, oh my God, that's an ant passing by. I can't believe that that's an ant passing by, yeah? Th th those are my content. You guys should go back to check my old videos. Those are my content. But now, I think Namibia enjoyed an in-depth content. Um, which country again? South Sudan enjoyed an in-depth content. Somali, I think I never, like, I didn't do much in Somali. Uh, because I had only two days in Somali. But Somaliland enjoyed an in-depth content. So I think the countries that we've been visiting recently, I really enjoy an in-depth content. So if I, haven't, uh, if I haven't visited your country yet, it's okay. Be happy because when I visit, you're going to have in-depth content. And you, don't forget that you're going to have a better version of what I'm So yeah, wait for it and... Um, like I said, I'm learning every single day. I'm improving on whatever I do every single day. And I can't wait to hit that million mark. And I don't know which country will be the first country that I'm going to visit after getting a million subscribers. Yeah. Um. Don't you think China is slowly eating out Africa by debt trap? What do you think about Chinese debt trap? It's, it's something that I think um, African leaders need to... Um, take notice of. I, I wouldn't say the collaboration between China and Africa is bad. It, it, it's a good thing, but they have to think um, well in terms of how the partnership is being done. Yeah. Um, so do I have, I have so many content, like I gave it a nick nickname. I can't believe yeah. <laughs> that is so funny. I gave, I gave the nickname. I can't believe. Yeah. <laughs> because those days, man, anything that I see, oh my God, I can't believe. Oh uh, yeah, but these days I see stuff and I'm like, okay, it's all right. It's all right. You know, where is Miss Trudy? You guys should go together everywhere. Yo, I, will, I have to be honest, traveling with a woman is not easy. I travel with a woman, imagine like you have to go somewhere in five minutes and the woman will take one hour to finish. Come on. You know, I, I love traveling with Trudy, but like I said, sometimes you have to give the woman some time to do her own stuff. Um, thank you so much for the super chat that you've been sending. I really appreciate them. Thank you so much. It's a way of supporting what we do. And like I also said, you can also subscribe to our patron. Do I have moderators here? You can subscribe to our patron pages so that a patron page, you'll be able to get to see the behind the scene content of the struggle that we go through. And that money on um, Patreon is the money that we use for charities in Africa. So um, I think you'll be seeing so many stuff that we'll be doing with your Patreon money. Like I said, I'm not, um, for me, I've decided to do it, but I feel like I cannot do it alone. And if you can come on board to the Patreon page, subscribe to the Patreon page, um, I will appreciate that being part of, um, the patron family um the patron is um is what we use to support um what we use to support um i mean when we see staff on the continent uh people struggling supporting people that's the account that we use to support so if you really want to join feel free and join the patron family thank you what am i um i have so many questions i'll try and answer all of them I'll try my possible best to answer all of them. Can you guys? Can you guys hear me? This is the this is the Patreon page. Um, this is the Patreon page. Feel free and then go to the Patreon page and subscribe. Um, Umo Umo is it Umo Jami? We want to help. We want you to help us bring creative ideas from our community via you. 
but we've been trying to reach you, but no, I've, how do we do that? Can you send me an email? Um, hello at watermaya.africa. Um, you can send me an email. Yeah. Uh, what about, I've seen so many questions. Um, somebody just, just feel free. And then um, we, we just having a conversation. Yeah. I really want to come here and speak to you guys because uh, there's a lot that has been going on. I've seen a lot of messages, people telling me what happened to you. It's Uganda's Independence Day. Can we just, let's do this, please. Um, today is Uganda's Independence Day. I think Museveni is still there, man. Is it even very necessary for us to celebrate the Independence Day of Uganda whilst we still have Museveni? Anyway, um, that was just by the way. Um, can we all drop the Ugandan flag? Can you all drop the Ugandan flag? Let's, let's, let's all celebrate Uganda today. Drop the Ugandan flag. Happy Independence Day, Uganda. Ugandan flag, if you can help me drop the Ugandan flag, if you have it, don't say anything. Let's the chat room filled with Ugandan flag. How many of I don't I wish I can sing the Ugandan national anthem? The Ugandan national anthem. Um the Ugandan national anthem as as I play the Ugandan as national anthem. Let's um let's play the Ugandan national anthem and let's fill the chat with Ugandan national flag. Thank you. Help me fill the chat room with Uganda national flag as we play the Ugandan national anthem. Today is Uganda's independence. So yeah, let's 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 celebrate Ugandan independence today um, by playing the Uganda national anthem. Okay, so yeah. Huh. What happened to the anthem? Oh, Uganda, may God uphold me. We lay our future in thy hand. United faithful, liberty together we'll God bless Uganda. God bless Uganda. I mean, I never, I've never heard the Uganda national anthem, but this sounds so beautiful, man. Uh, please, God bless Uganda. This is such a beautiful national anthem. And um, if you are Ugandan out here, just wave your hand. Let me know if you are from Uganda. If you are from Uganda. It sounds like a worship song. Yeah, it sounds like a worship song, but I, I literally got goosebumps just listening to the Uganda National Anthem. Um, happy Independence Day, Uganda. Um, we love and appreciate each and every Ugandan out here. I've been to Uganda myself, and um, I can't wait to return back to Uganda. I wish all Ugandans the best, the pearl of Africa. Um, it's a beautiful country. And um, I just hope things get better um, in Uganda. Thank you. Um, 
what else again we have to continue now that we've celebrated the beautiful country uganda um uh, we have Jesus, my phone went off. Hi, ah, do I still have it? My phone went off. Oh my God, my phone went off. I was using my phone for my data for my stream, but my phone went off. I don't know if this internet is even powerful. I don't know. Is this internet powerful? Jeez. Is this internet powerful? Can you guys hear me? Can you guys hear me? Uh, can you guys hear me? I don't know if the internet can, because I was using my phone. I don't know if this internet is really good to uh, power my stream. Um, if you can hear me, just let me know if it's good, if you can see me, because I was using the the phone for the stream. But if you can hear me, just let me know. Thank you. If you can hear me, just let me know. Thank you. Your, your phones don't want you to sing. <laughs> Your phone don't want you to sing. All right. So if you guys can hear me, which means the show must continue then. All right. Thank you. Let's go ahead. Um, I still have more questions to go. I still have more questions to answer. Mate, please, can you or share any of your crew info? S send me send me a message on Instagram. My peer will respond. It's very important. You can send me a message on, on Instagram right now as I'm speaking with you. My, my peer will respond. If you have my Instagram, Thank you. If you are not following me on Instagram, do so and follow me on Instagram. Mr. Ghana Baby is the Instagram handle. Uh, feel free and follow me on Instagram. Thank you. Um, I just, I just want to, if you have any more questions, feel free to answer. Like I said, I'm here for an hour. It's already 30 minutes already. Just be here and uh, be asked, answering your questions. Nairobi Queen, she's, she's busy. Are you going back to Congo? Yes, I'm going back to Congo. I actually, I was not done with Congo because I had to go to Ethiopia for uh, what I'm supposed to do. So that's why I went to Ethiopia. And then I had to fly to um, Kenya. And um, from Kenya, I'll be flying to back to Congo. Yeah. Maya, I need a car. See, I don't even have a car myself yet. So I don't even know what to do. Maybe um, somebody out here can touch somebody's out here it has to get you a car but personally i don't even have a car i can't boast of a car so if you need a car i don't know if i'm the best person to get you a car yeah um thanks maya for celebrating with us thank you so much. what am i barbados in the house we just had a kenyan president yes i i, I follow the news kenyatta met the prime minister of barbados um just not long ago yeah, um, I, I must congratulate you. You guys got to beat Zimbabwe in football 3 1 for the World Cup qualifier match earlier today. We play you guys in Zimbabwe on Tuesday. I'm sorry, yeah, but congratulations to Ghana. Yeah, you're the best. When are you visiting Botswana? I think uh, people really want to see me in Botswana. Don't worry, I'm coming to Botswana very soon. Maya, can you shed more light on how difficult logistics is it to us? borders and within a country um are you talking about logistics within africa i would say that um it's really really um difficult to move within africa um in terms of logistics it's really expensive to move within africa i don't know i think i've been saying this over and over again um people need to understand that it's not that easy to transport your staff from one particular place to another within the continent. Um, even human beings moving from one place to another on the continent is extremely expensive, how much more than non living things, you know? Yeah, so I think shedding more light, how difficult logistics across borders. See, I, I don't know if someday we'll take these borders out because it's something that, um, is hindering the growth of the continent. I think I did some few videos in Namibia, in Congo. I'll be uploading very soon. Um, I interviewed 
Uh, I don't know if I, I mentioned Mama Della. I don't know if you guys know Mama Della recently. Mama Della is the woman who took care of me when I went to Congo in terms of my accommodation and everything. Mama Della took care of it. I interviewed the husband and the husband, well, the husband actually went to Ghana and then he, he was telling me that his visa to Ghana cost $450. So he was telling me that it's so expensive to go to Ghana. And I'm like, you know what? It's so expensive to come to uh come to congo because it cost us single entry visa is 250 dollars so it's not as easy as it is to travel within africa logistics wise i think most of you knows and it's my prayer that someday um things are gonna get better in the continent thank you saying that uh please ask the factory owners you interview how they are able to run their factories what is their source of electricity because electricity is really expensive in africa it's funny that i think we were filming a video in congo about a guy who does juices and we're in the factory filming and then the lights just went off they took off the light you I, i'm so excited about congo videos you just wait for it yeah wait, wait for it i think it's so expensive it's really expensive uh, it's really expensive in terms of um, uh, production in Africa. This is why it's so hard to see more factories in Africa because electricity-wise, it's really expensive, very, very expensive. But I think people are understanding the use of solar panels. So yeah, it's really getting better. And I hope that things get better as time goes. Why hasn't Ghana got an ally? This is something that I've always been talking about. We use airline and then the airline a a, a got bankruptcy and um I'm, it's my prayer and hoping that some we're gonna have an airline even though it's really an airline but i think ghana deserves better that's what i think ghana deserves better we are all africans if any african team qualify for the world cup it's represent the whole continent so let us be together as one africa um with one destiny i love that thank you um somebody saying um maya love your work your courage and determination may god continue to guide and protect you you make us proud thank you so much my sweet garden thanks for the super chat and thanks for the um inspiring message that you just dropped i really appreciate i always tell people that messages keeps me moving Meeting people in 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 one on one, telling me that you're the reason why I'm doing this keeps me moving. Like I always tell people, it's not about making money on YouTube. That's a plus, but that is not my main motive of doing what I do. If making money is the main motive of what I do, I think I would have been the richest YouTuber right now because I have every I have a, I have the what do you call it? I have the platform to take out every situation but i'm not interested I, i'm not i'm not interested because that is not that is not why i'm here right the main reason of being here is to make an impact and that is what i'm looking for because i believe that the more you make an impact the more you make an income so believe me it's impact over everything thank you so much and believe me don't stop encouraging me don't stop sending me these encouraging messages because you have no idea um what these messages does to me because sometimes so many things will be happening you feel so down and somebody will send you a message and it just uplifts your soul and you feel like yo i need to keep moving you know so please don't stop don't stop i'm just gonna tell you don't stop because your messages means a lot to me all right um this is uh, every single country in africa does not need its own airline yeah, uh, that's what somebody thinks. Um, show your support to Africa to the world movement by simply giving. It's very important. If you haven't liked stream. Oh my God, I'm getting so many phone calls. Who's that? Could be on a stream. Is it like, like I really want to use the, um, I really want to use the data because this, this Wi-Fi, it's going to give me issues. All right. Do I still have more questions saying that? What am I you're doing a good job? And um, you're very humble. God will continue to uplift you. 
Thank you so much. Um, I'm going to switch to my... Sorry, I'm back. I need to make sure I switch to the mobile data because the Wi Fi is not strong. What am I? Okay, so yeah, I'm the question. What am I? Had a young, beautiful black woman of Africa. Why are we only seeing men? <laughs> there are about there. There are about as many as them as the men, if not more. African platform don't show them. I think I think um, my my plan shows a lot of women. I don't know. I don't know the kind of women you want to see, but sometimes I use my platform to celebrate African women. Yeah. Okay, uh, Maya Bravo. Oh man, I don't know this thing. So I need a very good internet. Sorry. You say um Ethiopia and Congo are building the largest dam in Africa. Don't worry. Okay. Um I hope I'm I'm answering all the questions. Is it this is from Namibia? I appreciate the video you did here, but we're still sad about the title you put about over Himba people. It's our hope that you may soon clarify that. Bless up. Um I I I just I know like most of you got offended. Uh, with the title that we used, but I think it was said in the video. It was, I, I maybe I I don't know, but um, I have to say this. Yeah, sometimes I hate to explain myself. Um, I hate to explain myself. I hate to um tell people some stuff we did to get to where we are today. Um, when we started making tribes about. When we started making videos about tribes, people said um, we're taking advantage of um, uh, we're taking advantage of tribes in Africa and all of that. To the extent that I decided not to monetize that particular video, um, even though we spent a lot of money to do that video, um, the tour guides over there they didn't charge us less than a thousand dollars to do whatever they did for us. You see, we are we we are not we are Africans, yeah less than a thousand dollars to do what they did the tour guides in in that namibian video that you saw they didn't charge us less than a thousand dollars um i hired a car from vinduk to the north imagine like five days uh, you know all, all those money i ne i never even thought of okay how do i get those money back i could have just monetized that video to make my money back but it was not worth it that video has over 1.7 million views that that could make a lot of money but we decided to let it go like that so i just want to let um i just want to tell some namibians that i got offended about the title of that video i i believe that it was not an intention to uh make a particular tribe looks bad or something but everything in the title everything on the title was said in the video we just you know on, on youtube we you have to do something that will also enable you to click on a particular video um and i think that video alone was full of education and um if i have to clarify that i don't know if you have a best title for me to clarify that i'll be so happy if you can send me the best title that you think i need to use and i'll be able to use that yeah thank you um it was very informing video um um okay he's saying um hi what am I? 
Hi, what am I? So proud of what you are accomplishing. So much love and respect from Ethiopia. Thank you. Um, I feel like I've been to Ethiopia so many times and I've not really explored Ethiopia that much, but hoping that uh, my return to Ethiopia next time will take um, the opportunity to travel different part of Ethiopia. I think I was, this time when I was in Ethiopia, it was in a hurry. I, I never even had a day for myself to do anything that I have to do for myself. Uh, but we're able to create something even out of those busy schedules. So, yeah, um, just wait for it. I just can't wait to explore Ethiopia very well next time. Create African Union, just like European Union. There's an African Union. There's an African Union already. There's an African Union already, yeah. So keep keep the questions coming. Is it too late to monetize the Namibian video? I already, it's something that I decided not to monetize, so just let it go. Already, the video had its own peak in terms of the amount of views that yeah, it needs to be accumulated. It has already accumulated that video, so yeah, uh, we definitely got to go with the flow. I'm an African-American YouTuber inspired by your vlogs. I will showcase the best of Blacks here in the US. I love how you educate people by showing the best part of Africa. That's amazing. Please do so. And um, I think I will check out your YouTube channel right now and subscribe so that I'll be able to see what Black people are doing in the diaspora. Because I, I personally really want to, um, I wish I had the energy, the resources to move from one country to another to celebrate African excellence. But it's, I mean, that day will come. Yeah, I believe that that day will come. But for now, we need more people to be ambassadors wherever they are and keep doing whatever they're doing. Yeah, let's keep whatever they're doing. And uh, we'll, be, we'll, be, we'll always be here to support from afar. But Amaya, I'm enjoying your advantage, ad, adventures videos. Excellent work. Keep it up from South Africa, Johannesburg. Um, what am I? Did you know that Franklin has got 100k subscribers? Yeah, I congratulated him. Uh, I congratulated him not, not long ago. Um, you will get a private jet very soon. What? I thought, oh, Ivy, he didn't know. Eh? We spent a thousand dollars. We see, I'm saying someday I'll, I'll, I'll story. I mean, someday, yeah, I'll tell my story. Someday. I would definitely tell my story someday because I am that guy who don't like talking about money because anytime you talk about money, it's it, in Africa, money is a sensitive topic, you know, in Africa, money is a sensitive topic. So I hate to talk about money, but traveling in Africa is not a joke. Like Namibia, I think I love my, my time in Namibia. I love the content in Namibia but it was one of the most expensive trips ever. Like, especially when we went to Swakop Wavis Bay. I think if this girl is here, she will testify. Our country manager, our country manager can testify in terms of what happened to us in Namibia, in terms of the expenses, the fuel, but I just love the country. And I, I love my time in Namibia, man. I don't, like, I want to go back someday. Yeah, but when it comes to like, telling you guys how much we spend to create a particular video. Nobody talks about it. Nobody. We, we don't like talking about it. We just want to let you see what you have to see. Because the main motive is to put Africa on the map, not to come and tell you guys our challenges, uh, stuff that we're facing and all of that. If we keep on telling you guys our challenges, how will we be able to inspire you to go to African country, to visit an African country? No. But when you come, you upload a video and people start judging you and you sit back and I'm like, oh my goodness, do they even know what they are talking about? <laughs> they have no idea, you know. But anyway, like I said, I've got my mind made up and um, I will never turn back. Um, saying hello, guys. Actually, I actually make videos for African countries. Keep doing it. Don't stop. Um, saying, what am I? When I come into the Western region of Ghana, um, I, I've been there, but I think I, I have not created a video of other place because I've seen so many videos out of the place. Yeah. Um, has the C, CCP banned you from China yet? 
I think I'm wanted in China. I think so. Because um, I don't even have to talk about this, but I, I think I, I can't go back to China for now. Yeah, I don't think so. Because recently something happened. I, I didn't even talk about it. Something happened recently where the the geez, I think this is for the public anyway. Yeah, um, but I just want to tell you that I don't think I'll be able to go to China uh, anytime soon because they had to even trace back to my school to go and, uh, get my lectures. And then my lectures were calling me, pleading with me not to talk about China anymore and all of that. It, it, it's something that recently happened. And um, uh, I told my lectures, I, I'm, I'm no longer in China, so there's nothing you can do to uh, prevent me from speaking the truth because the truth is just one man and it's just that one of the things that I always say is that it's not it's not safe you know because you don't have the protection from the African government like they traced just recently uh, uh, they traced back to my school uh, I'm talking about it's not even less than it's not even less than a week it's not it's not less than a week man because I, I they felt like I was exposing too much to um, Africans of what is going on in China. They traced back to my school, went to my my lectures and all of that. Um, I think three of my lectures called me, begging me and all of that, not to talk about China anymore and all of that. They love me and blah, blah. I'm like, you know what? They, it's okay. It has, yeah, there's nothing that I can do about that. That's what I'm telling you guys, man. It's not, it's not, uh, when people see you, people think that, oh, you are this and this and that. You, you guys have no idea, you know. You guys have no idea. I don't like talking about certain things, but yeah. Um, huh, what what next? Next question? Uh, for now, I don't think um, I don't think I'll be able to be in China, go to China anytime soon. Um, why did they have the access? Um, it's, Somebody saying like, uh, uh, yes, please come back to Namibia. I would love to meet you. Definitely gonna uh, come back to Namibia someday. I'm saying great to support all content creators. Great to support all content creators. Yeah, we we just um, jeez, my phone doesn't rest. My phone doesn't rest, man. <laughs> ah, my phone doesn't rest. Yeah, he's saying that. Hi, brother. Um, hi, hi. My brother is in the hospital. Please pray for him. Thanks, what am I? I pray that God continue to cover and guide and protect you. Love from Trinidad and Tobago. May your brother be healed in the name of Jesus. Amen. Uh, please, these people don't joke. Uh, yeah, I ask your question either. Either you or your moderators ignored it. Ask the question again. Um. Uh, we are waiting for you in South Africa, man. Definitely coming back to South Africa very soon. Um, why are Chinese worried about your content? If they are not doing anything wrong, then they have nothing to worry about. Um, like I said, I'm, I, I'm more like a powerhouse right now. My voice has power. And um, I don't want to talk about this for now, but I, I, know, I know some stuffs are going on. But anyway, we'll talk about it someday. Yeah. Um, my, when I come to Jamaica, this is a question that I can't answer for now, but please, I, I'm going to do a special video on that. How many, hey, what am I, where are the Congo videos? <laughs> the Congo videos are coming up very soon, man. The Congo videos are coming up. I know a lot of people want us to see um, the Congo videos. Just wait for it. Um, just wait for it. It's, you are an ambassador for YouTube and Ellen, right? Please tell me, tell me, do they require COVID vaccination proof to board the plane? No, it's just a negative COVID test. That's the only thing they need. Um, saying, are you willing to accept sponsorship? It depends on the kind of sponsorship. The truth is set free. That's the only thing. Like I said, uh, it, the truth is just one, man. And it's only the truth that can set you free. I, I, I just... Someday, I wish people will understand being honest can get you into trouble. See, I'm, I'm one of the realest people you'll find on this, like on this platform, man. 
realists. I'm not even, I hate to talk about myself, but I'm one of the realest people you'll ever find on this platform. When you, when you talk of Africa China relationship, the realest guy to ever speak about Africa China is me. And China knows. <laughs> and China knows. I, I, I'm not even joking, man. And they know it. Uh, they know it. So that is why I'm telling you, like, someday, someday you you will definitely get to a lot. Um, was Ethiopia expensive? How did you find it? I think going to Ethiopia this time around, more of the stuff that I did was more paid off. So I really did not feel um, in terms of um, cost of living because I didn't really spend a lot in the country. Yeah, I really did not spend a lot in the country. So I don't know, maybe next time when I go back, I'll take notice about all those things. Because when I went to Ethiopia, food, um, accommodation, transportation, everything was covered. So I really did not feel it that much. Yeah. He's saying that thank you for supporting others and inspiring others. I would love to connect with you um, as a Black American YouTuber. I will be in Lagos, Nigeria this December with my husband to vlog. When you go to Lagos, make sure you meet Tayo Aina. I don't live in Lagos, but um, definitely um, I can introduce Tayo Aina to you so that you meet Tayo Aina when you get to Lagos. Uh, you're an inspiration. I live in the US. I plan to visit Ghana soon. Keep up the good work. Thank you. Um, Maya, my African brother from Ethiopia, yeah. Um, how does our company reach out to you for sponsorship? Uh, feel free and then um, send me an email. Hello at watermaya. Hello at watermaya dot Africa. That's the, that is the email address. Please, your email address. That's the email address. Hello at watermaya dot Africa. Feel free and send me a message. Watermaya, I'm composing a song for you. Wow, that would be amazing. Hey, how, how do you guys find that What Am I song, man? I feel like that song is a hit, man. We need to we need to do a music video for that song, bro. We really need to do a music video for that song. Yeah, that's my email. Hello at whatamaya.africa. Thank you so much. Feel free. Feel free to ask me all your questions. Um, feel free to ask me all your questions. It's okay. I'll be here to answer. I, I still have um 30 minutes to go. Uh we want we want North Africa to be separate from Africa because the Fulanis are causing big troubles in West Africa. I don't think I'm the best person to answer this. Um, Africa will dominate the world very soon. Um, this one is saying, what am I? Okay, I think I already uh, read this. Thank you for everyone donating to the Africa to the World Movement. Thank you. I, I need to personally say thank you to each and everyone who has ever donated in here. Thank you, I really appreciate it. Um, I think that money will go a very long way. I'm saying that big ups, bro. I think Kofi proud, secondy Takari. Big ups, bro. I think Kofi proud, secondy Takari proud, Ghana proud, and Africa proud. Kojo Fletcher, thank you, man. You are indeed a great man. Thank you. I mean, um, let me see. My okay, I feel like there are no more questions. It's just people who just want to say hello. And um, what is it? I asked so many questions many times, but you skipped it. I, I've not seen the question. Oh my God. It's better you stay silent for now, but don't be a sellout to Africa. One day, you see, um, it's funny how people thought I was a sellout, man. To the extent that people were calling me names. Oh, oh be you a sellout. You are selling Africa. I, I'm, not, I'm not a politician. How can I sell Africa to China? I, I'm not. I'm not a politician. I'm not a politician. I'm just letting you know what is happening. I'm more like a messenger telling you facts, you know. And sometimes people don't like the truth and they see you as, oh, you, you are a sellout, you are this, you support China, you support Africa. It's so many ways. I mean, I, I am the realest guy on this platform, man. I'm not, I'm not even joking about that. The realest guy in here man um somebody saying that have you eaten see food over everything man i still have food around me bro let 
the diaspora talk, wait for it, man. Wait for it. Yeah. Um, I think as Africans, we can do less of telling our truth online and focusing on posting our content like you're doing. You can speak out the truth at home or get diaries. Yeah, that's so true. We love you. Ah, mommy, how are you doing? My, that's 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 my mom in America. Uh, Unisophori. I, I definitely know that my mom is definitely watching. She she just called me not long ago. She was eating rice. Yeah, rice. Yeah, and she's already here. How do you find Kenya meals? The ugali 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 is a special meat, man. What are you eating? It's just plantain, a fried plantain. That's what I'm eating right now. Um, he's saying Odama is doing an amazing job for Africa. He's a massive part of building a brighter future for Africa. Respect and love from Finland. My country's history is similar to African history. Nice. So, which means Aleski, Ale, Aleski is from um, Finland. Um, I just wanna. I wanted to invite you to. Carnival in, hey, is it Medelo City, Cape Verde? Will you go? Why not? Hey, it's an African country. It, at least, it's a, see, this is this is what I wanted to hear, you know. Let's say you are from, you are from an African country. Wadama has never been there. You just say that, you know what, Wadama, I want to invite you to this particular country, and I'm going to take care of your flight tickets. The next day you see, you see Wadama there. At least you've taken half of my trouble or half of my worry. But some of you would just be here and be like, oh, what am I has never been to my country. What am I has not, and you don't want to be in my country. No, the best way to go is to tell me that, hey, you know, come, we we'll take care of this, we we'll take care of that. But some people will even promise you, and when you get there, you won't see them. Thank you. Uh, in that, why didn't you participate in African France Summit? I didn't even know that it something like that happened. Um, Tison, um, thank you so much for the support chat. Thank you, I appreciate. Um, saying that if you cool with my Kenyan sister, man, we good. Just do your thing, man. We are here to support you. Thank you. Um, thank you, Man, I've seen I've seen a lot of you in here. Eight hundred and sixty-five people watching me. Have you liked the stream yet? Have you? Are you still in Ethiopia? No, I left Ethiopia. Um, I think a week ago. A week ago, I left Ethiopia. You've been truthful. Stepping on many toes and putting. Yeah, true. I mean, Sasifunke. Let's do this. Yeah, let's do this. Um, how are you all doing? Stay on. Let's do this. I think I need to do this today. Sassy Funke, Sassy Funke is here. Sassy has um 49k subscribers, and I have 869 people watching. Can we do a magic? See, I I miss, see I I miss the fact that I miss like my subscribers doing magic and putting smiles on people's face. I'm gonna drop a link of Sassy's YouTube channel. I have 892 people watching me right now. 892 people watching. Can we just get Sassifunke to 50K right now? Please, don't disappoint me. Can we get Sassifunke to 50K? This is the link. Please, um, stop watching me, yeah? Click on this link that I just dropped. If you're already a subscriber, thank you. Uh, if you're already a subscriber, thank you. But... Let's do this, man. This is Sassy Funke's YouTube channel. Click on the link, man. I've seen 900 people watching me. So 900 people, if you know, at least 900 people will can all go to Sassy Funke's YouTube channel and subscribe. Let's get um, Sassy Funke to 50K right now. Right now. I mean, I mean, right now. Thank you. Before we continue. Thank you. Let's get a 50k. I miss doing this, man. I, I really want to do this. I really, really want to do this. Sasifunke is an amazing YouTuber. She's one of the people that really inspired me to do what I do today. Um, I remember the first time I discovered her channel, 
she was actually flying Ethiopian airline to um, Kenya, is it Diani Beach? And I followed her journey where she went to um, um, Diani Beach, showing her drone shots, moving around around the, the, I think the resort, the Diani Beach resort. I was so inspired. That time I was based in China and I'm like, oh my goodness, I can't wait to show Africa um, in this way. So Sasfunke has been part of my journey in terms of people that really inspired me. So many people inspired me, man. So many people inspired me on this journey. So, and Sasfunke is one of them. So please do me a favor. This is the link. Let's get Sasfunke to, um, let's get Sasfunke to 50K. Please drop the link. I just dropped the link. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. If you want to know, all you want to know about Nigeria, Sasifunke got you, man. Like, Sasi got you. Thank you so much. I subscribed a long time ago. How many of you have subscribed to Sasifunke? If you have subscribed to Sasifunke, say hi. Say hi. If you have subscribed to Sasifunke, just say hi. Uh, let's see. If you have subscribed to Sasi, say hi. Thank you. Just say hi. Bro, what's your favorite drink? Keep up the motivation and hit high. Okay, my favorite drink, if you go to Nigeria, it's called um, Chapman. That's my favorite drink. Or if you give me pineapple and ginger juice, that's also my favorite drink. If you have subscribed to Sasifunke, say hi. Sasi, are you here? How many subscribers do you have now? Sasi. Sasi, how many subscribers do you have now? Hello, Sasifunke. Sasifunke left me. Sasi, hi. Are you here? Oh, is Sasifunke here? Hello, Sasi. How many? How many subscribers have you subscribed? If you subscribe, say hi. Hello. Let me check. Sassy is already at 50k. Okay. Good. 49.1. Okay. We just we just got here 49.1 right now. So I guess how many people want to subscribe? 100 people want to subscribe. So what about the other 800? Maybe you're watching from your TV. You didn't see it? Okay. Anyway. So this is the link. If you haven't subscribed, please. Sassy, how many subscribers do you have right now? We, we have to go and subscribe to um, Sassy's YouTube channel. Thank you so much. I've seen uh, already a lot of you have already gone there. We'll be getting Sassy Funke 50K today by fire by force. Thank you. Yeah, um, feel free and uh, continue to ask the questions. And as you continue, 20 more minutes and I'll be out of here. I, I really feel happy to be here. I feel like I've spoken a lot. I feel like I've poured my heart out today. I feel like I've poured my heart out today. Maya, what's unique about African countries, women? More of what's unique about... <laughs> Yo, that video, if you have a girlfriend, it's so hard to do those videos, man. What is unique about African countries, women? Is <laughs> If you have a girlfriend, it's so hard to do those videos, bro. <laughs> oh, it's a 49.83. Okay, so... Okay, um, continue to subscribe to Sassy Funke's channel. Thank you so much. I feel like you deliberately refuse to respond to my questions, but how many people in Cameroon and Axi, why not talking about their country? Are you talking about Cameroon? I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I, I don't know. I, I haven't seen this question, but he said I deliberately um, refuse to respond. I mean, Cameroon, I've never been there, but I'm definitely going to be in Cameroon very soon. But I think my girlfriend was in Cameroon recently. So it's the same thing, yeah. But definitely, I'm just going to come very soon, yeah. What am I, can you interview more entrepreneurs in most of your videos? One Love from South Sudan. We, we are doing our best to interview more entrepreneurs. One thing that I think African entrepreneurs are so secretive sometimes they don't want to share we've met so many people with great stories so many people that are doing great stuff but they don't want to share their story you know they don't want to share their stories 
I don't know why, but uh, they don't want to, you know, some of them don't want to share their stories. And um, I just hope that someday um, people will be more open and um, be able to share their story with us. Hello, what am I? I'll pay for your trip in Cameroon. Send me an email. Let's talk about that. Uh, you, you see me in Cameroon right away. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> And say, Pastor Tatema, you are such a blessing to the continent. Thank you so much. Thank you. Maya, big hello from Somalia. I love Somali, man. Please, I need your support. You inspire me. God bless you all. Thumbs up. What kind of support do you need? Black women of Africa, those I was lucky enough to see, seem so sweet. <laughs> I know you have went Zimbabwe, but ready to support your cabin. Come on, how can I avoid Zimbabwe? How can I avoid Zimbabwe? Never will I avoid Zimbabwe. We love you, Watermaya. Let's promote FA stores and travel to be the leading African Safari's company. These guys are telling the African story inspired by Trumaya, Diani Beach, Zanzibar. Okay. Um, hello, Odomaya. Greetings from your fan in Zambia. In Gambia. If you are in Gambia, I think I'll be in Gambia very soon. Within this month, I'll be in Gambia. I'll be in Gambia. So um, if you are in Gambia, just wait for me. I'll be there for like five, four days in Gambia. Yeah, so I'll, I'll, I'll be happy to link up with um, Zambian content creators, Zambian people that moved to Zambia. I'll be able to share their stories and all of that, you know. I can't wait. I, I'll i be coming there very soon. Yeah, take a short left to South Africa. I, personally, I'm going to come to South Africa again because I think my first visit to South Africa was not a pleasant one, but um, we, 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 we learn from our mistakes and then will be able to um yeah learn from it and then don't worry for south africa i'm coming back man really coming back how is the sister who got the car faring oh oh see i even forgot sister's dying how are you doing somebody's asking you how are you doing were you able to solve the car issue i see i'm a i'm such a bad friend you know such a bad friend like i don't even know how to what to say right now i'm such a bad friend do you enjoy ethiopian coffee no i'm sorry i'm not a i'm not a i'm not a coffee lover the traveler queen hey the traveler queen is here how are you doing the traveler queen <laughs> the traveler queen how are you doing i've been i've been asking for six months now you've been asking what for six months now what have you been asking for six months now let me know um, why you keep repeating this, this some countries, but many countries are not yet visit. So if you see me repeating a country, which means I got an invitation, you know, I, I'm not going to the country by myself, like going to Ethiopia again, it was sponsored by Ethiopian Airlines, going to Gambia again, it's a sponsored trip, going to Namibia again, it's a sponsored trip, like so if you see me going to a country again it's a sponsored trip you know that's that's how it is but personally going to a new country is what i always want to do but it's like i said um no one is sponsoring whatever we're doing it's we're doing everything from our pocket so it's a bit slow but slow by sure we'll definitely get there thank you hi maya um in the village where the leaders told the woman you can build an outreach shelter for the medical workers so they wouldn't be in the sun. You can build whatever size and style you want. Yeah, that's the um, media. We, we're definitely working on that. Uh, that's one of the reasons why I'm actually going back to Namibia. Yeah. Um, super chat, Justina, thank you so much for the super chat. 
when will you visit Bujumbura? I think it's 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 on the pipeline this year. Yeah. Say I'm based in UAE, but I would like to make a program, come around and see what Africans are experiencing. The message we will pass to others will help others. That's so you want you want me to come to UAE? Um, God love, is that what you're trying to talk about? What's your favorite cartoons? Hey, I love animations, man. I don't even know my favorite yet, but every animation that comes out, I watch it. I, I watch it, man. Um, when are you coming back to Sierra Leone? When I get that invitation, I'll definitely come back. Um, hey, Watermaya, you're a great guy. It's very encouraging how you're using your platform to campaign for all the YouTubers. Thanks for giving. Thanks for you for that giving spirit. I mean, I feel like I'm one of the most loved content creator out here and i don't even take that for granted I, I feel like i'm the most loved youtuber in the african youtube space no maybe maybe some youtubers will try to say oh they, but see no one loves i don't know how to exp express this but i feel like i'm i'm the most loved content creator in africa most loved. if you don't agree with me agree with your computer yeah the love that I have on the internet is so genuine, so pure. Yeah, you might have people hating on you and all of that. I don't even care about that. I, but the love that I get on this platform is just amazing. And always want to give back, you know, always want to. I don't know what to do. Sometimes I get so overwhelmed. I don't know what to do with um, the kind of love that I'm receiving so far. So it's always good to always give back the love, you know, put smiles on people's faces if you can. And that's what I, I, I've been trying to do. Because, you know, if I should tell you how much people love me, you guys have no idea. You have no clue, man. You have no clue. Like the way people love me. You know, I've been to a place where people just come and say, what am I? I it's what am I, I'm going to pay for it. Like, it's what am I, I'm going to do this. Like, I can't even, I can't even talk about certain things. Some people will do stuff for me and say, don't, don't mention it. Don't tell anybody. See, um, I think people love me to the extent that they love my surroundings. They love people around me just, just because they love what am I, and they can't support what am I, but they would love to support people around what am I. It's, it's just amazing. Like, I can't, I, I can't explain how I feel sometimes, you know. And that is why I don't take this kind of love for granted. Not at all. Not at all, man. When will you visit Seychelles or any other African islands? <laughs> Seychelles. Very soon, man. You look like U.S. actor Gary Coleman. Did that tribe over your woman as a companion? And did you accept that? Uh, I think Gary Coleman, I think I even did a video on that. That people were saying that I look like Gary Coleman, a reincarnated version of Gary Coleman. Uh, I, I did a video when I was in China. I used to get that a lot. I said, oh, we, we found the reincarnation of Gary Coleman living in China. Oh, did Gary Coleman fake his death and... Um, went to China. I think when I was in China, I used to get a lot of that uh, comments a lot. Yeah, and um, did that tribe offer you? No, they did not offer any woman. They actually don't offer for visitors like us. They offer visitors like um, people from the same tribe. That's when they offer them the same thing. Uh, Maya, you've given the money to the go farming the Somaliland girl already. Um, Doreen was the one who even hand over that money to the girl. Um, I think I need to call that woman uh, so that she'll be able to come in here to say thank you. I think Doreen is Doreen is not here yet, but um, Doreen Doreen was the one who handed over the money to the woman. Doreen was the one in charge of uh, that campaign, and Doreen handed over the money to the woman. Just recently, I think I got a message from her recently. Um, I think I will try and then um, do a video on her uh, so that most of you will know that your money has been received. Yeah. yeah.
virus spread faster than the virus. <laughs> ah, man. Give us info on visa processes when you visit these countries. I think that's it. one. So I'll work. I'll definitely work on that. You have a beautiful audience, like true, to be honest. And my audience are so loyal, man. They are so loyal to me. You're lagging. Oh my goodness. I guess it's the internet. I guess it's the internet, man. This is the internet. I'm Because it's the internet. So I have like 10 minutes more to go. I have 10 minutes more to go. I still have 866 people watching me right now. First of all, I want to say thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate each and every one of you. You're still lagging, don't worry. I'm just changing. I'm switching it to my, my data. The Wi-Fi here is not that strong. I'm just switching to my data. So you just chill. Are you are you back in Ghana now? Um, I'm still in um, I'm in Nairobi right now. Nairobi right now, and um, yeah, I mean, I think I, I just switched. I think it's better now. Yeah, I have 10 minutes more to go. How was Congo? Congo was amazing, and I'm definitely going to go back. Uh, before I log out, I want to say that join our Patreon family if you haven't. Um, if you are if you're a subscriber for the Maya, we need, we need you on the Patreon. Please um, join, subscribe to the Patreon as you'll be able to enjoy behind the scenes of um, everything that is happening on the continent um on our travels we'll be able to show you guys what's going on on our travels uh please um it's very important that you subscribe to our patreon family it's also a way of giving back you know because i don't want to be coming here to beg you that oh give me a dollar give me no when we see stuff and we can deliver we deliver with the with the patreon audience so i just want to ask each and every one of you if you have the chance and you'll be able to join the patreon family do so and join the patreon family thank you what keeps you going impact impact keeps me moving impact keeps me moving yeah that's it yeah, impact keeps me moving my how is Trudy's health she's fine everything is okay um now that she's fine i'll be able to continue what i'm doing because i came here because of trudy she's not feeling fine that's what i came here eat healthy i will thank you watching you live from kenya um i still got 800 people watching me have you liked the stream yet thank you so much for being here thank you so much for watching have you liked the stream how can only 500 people like the stream geez like the video and like the video thank you so much like the video thank you like the video like the stream thank you so much like the stream and i think um, we're unique because now as you can see thank you so much like the stream thank you so much like the stream and um i'm gonna see you all some other time thank you so much i'll be the photos of you who are saying that i need to visit your countries i'll definitely visit your countries don't worry um what am i has truly got coronavirus hell no um saying that i'm sending you some vegetables to your dreams to pursue you that's so funny um thank you and uh please i've seen 800 people watching can if you haven't subscribed to sassy funke's youtube channel please do me a favor and uh, subscribe to sassy funke's youtube channel if you can yeah i mean it doesn't take anything for you to subscribe to a youtube channel um if you haven't this is the link subscribe be part of the channel and um yeah thank you um what else again i think i've answered every question in here today this was an amazing live stream being able to connect with you all i've missed each and every one of you 
the content. If you haven't watched the content, please go back and watch the content that we've been uploading because you watching our content is a way of enabling us to travel more. Um, it's, it's a way of enabling us to travel more uh, because like I said, if you, the more you watch our video, the more we've been able to travel within Africa. So turn on the post notification button, be able to subscribe to uh, subscribe to the channel, watch the videos. If you can share them, please do. If you can share the videos, please do. It's very important. Share the video so that others can also get to see the channel. In 2021, we are ending 2021 with 1 million subscribers. Don't forget that Road to a Million is still on. Um, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. If you know people who haven't subscribed to the channel, tell them to subscribe to the Wadamaya YouTube channel. I love you all. Thank you so much for the love and support. Please feel free and hit the subscribe button for Sassy Funke. Um, I'll be so happy to wake up knowing that she reached 50,000 subscribers. I love you all. Pamoja Milele. Until next time. Thank you so much. What am I here? For a million. Thank you. Have a good night.